Is the ECHR really blocking the UK from deporting migrants? Threats to leave the European Convention on Human Rights are once again circulating in the UK as the right-wing Conservative Party elects its new leader. Some politicians accuse the European Court of Human Rights of being an obstacle to controlling immigration because the Convention allows asylum seekers to apply to the court to challenge their deportation. And in some ways, it's exactly that. The court protects everyone on European soil, stopping countries from sending them to places where they could suffer serious human rights violations. But the claim that the ECHR is blocking the UK from deporting migrants is not entirely true. The first reason is that the European Court of Human Rights can block deportations only under very, very specific circumstances, which is whenever someone faces a real risk of torture in human or degrading treatment in a third country. The second reason, and perhaps the even more important reason why that claim is false, is that the legal principle of non refoulement is not just based on the ECHR. It is a core principle of international law. So, even if the UK left the ECHR, it would still be bound by other international obligations and treaties and wouldn't deal with immigration any faster. If the UK left, it would sit alongside the likes of Russia and Belarus outside the Council of Europe, which incidentally has nothing to do with the EU. So, would there be any benefit to the UK leaving? It would be a devastating blow to the UK's reputation within Europe and beyond as a kind of, you know, as a country that accepted basic human rights obligations. It would also cause major difficulties with the EU in relation to our Brexit deal with them, which implicitly requires us to continue to abide by the ECHR and it would also cause problems in relation to the Good Friday Agreement.